Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hello, hello, hello. This video is for my water sisters and brothers for the Scorpio. So Scorpio sun, Scorpio moon, and Scorpio rising. Before I even get started, if you feel like what I'm saying in this video does not resonate with you, go on and check out your moon and or rising sign, which I do have linked down below, okay? This is the reading for the Pisces lunar cycle. So we are talking beginning of March through the beginning of April. And <laughs> very funny with these cards, I shuffled them and left them with the Scorpio energy for a little while while I went to go walk my dog. And when I came back, I looked at the bottom of the decks and I shuffled again right before I pulled them. And you have two cards in here that were actually sitting on the bottoms of the decks when I came back, you know, to start shuffling again. So this energy, I believe, is very much so going to really be coming in and really sticking for you um, during this next month, okay? So let's start. First card that you guys have coming up is the energy that you're going to be tapping into or that will be coming in for you during this lunar cycle, and that is uh, the fork in the road card, and that comes with the number 13. Um, to talk a little bit about the energy, this fork in the road card does tell me that for a lot of you Scorpios, there may be some situations going on in your life in which you have a couple of different options present to you, presented to you at the current time. Um, it could be in regards to your relationship, like a... Uh, do I want to stay in it or do I not want to stay in it? It could be in regards to your career, like do I really want to do this or do I want to take this promotion or do I want to take this other job? It could be in regards to like your friendships, like something may have gone down and you're kind of like at a standstill as to how you want to react. Just in general, you may be feeling this energy of not really knowing which path to take. Um, which does not surprise me underneath this water energy of Pisces. And as you guys know, Pisces is also our little sister and brother. Um, it's the little fishies with the tails tied together and they're swimming in different directions. So that is very, very reflective of Pisces energy. This card here for you is saying like, there's going to be opportunities or there may be decisions that you need to make and you really may not know which path to take. You're not really sure. Um, and that is also to say that we have Mercury in retrograde as well in Pisces too. So with that being said, Scorpio, what I will say is during this lunar cycle, try to take time to really think before you act. Not to say that, not to say that you guys don't do that already, but when it comes to major decisions or things that you know can kind of alter your life like that, try to really put some thought into it and put some more thought into it and then when you think you've made your decision put some more thought into it again because of mercury retrograde you want to make sure that everything that you're doing is completely on the right path to putting you into alignment with whatever it is that you're supposed to be aligned with um i wouldn't make too many major decisions during this next month though i would really be thinking about them though so you're probably going to be mulling over certain things in your head trying to figure out okay trying to weigh the pros and the cons we do have a libra full moon coming up this lunar cycle as well so the, the, these energies make a lot of sense. This energy makes a lot of sense for you, Scorpio. Um, also, let's talk a little bit about the numerology on this card. You've got 13, which breaks down to four, which is, you know, starting to build new things, kind of putting the plans into place. Um, and you've got the one there, which is independence, individuality, new beginnings. And then you've got the three, which is bringing things together. So as you're going through this fork in the road energy, you will, you will definitely be coming to a place where you're starting to realize things and dealing with that Pisces energy more so in terms of like enlightenment, like, aha, I get it now. This is what's supposed to be happening, okay? Um, the next card that you guys have coming up in your spread is one of my favorite cards, so I'm a little sad to see it in a crossing position for you. You've got the Ten of Cups here. Typically, this is a card that points to very positive energy of just feeling completely fulfilled, being content, um, spreading your energy in a way that doesn't leave you spent, um, and putting it into the things that it needs to be put into. Um, happiness, having all of your wishes fulfilled, right? This isn't a crossing position, so crossing that fork in the road energy, this does tell me, Scorpio, that your decisions, you're basing them off of how you're seeing your future. Um, which is not necessarily a bad thing because you guys are known for kind of planning ahead and being very successful in doing so. 
but what I would say with this particular card is that how do I put this try not to think so far ahead I do you not think so far mm -hmm. cuz I've been thinking about forever we don't that's actually not the energy that you need okay what you Scorpio should be doing is yeah manifest positively really have intentions in regards to the things that you're doing and the things that you want to see but at the same time kind of be in the here and the now this Pisces energy is all about feeling it's all about enlightenment it's all about you know really again falling into alignment with what you're really supposed to be doing so as you're trying to figure these things out try to come a little bit away from the logic that you guys typically tend to tap into which is usually and always a good thing but for now you really need to be thinking about what makes me happy right now what am i feeling right now because wherever your heart is taking you right now is where you need to be so whatever these decisions are that need to be made instead of thinking logically or thinking about how things look or how things are going to look to other people or how things are supposed to be quote unquote think about what you feel and whatever move you make what will bring you into the space of being able to turn this ten of cups into an upright position okay um oops the next card that you have here by the way the fork in the road is the card that was sitting on the bottom of the deck when i came back in um, the next card that you have here, okay, okay, <laughs> we're going to talk about it, that card in a moment. <laughs> You've got the Six of Swords, and this is in the position where the Pisces energy is coming in for this spread. This is where you're going to receive a little bit of enlightenment. This is a card of hope, and this is typically a card of hope after being in kind of a chaotic headspace. This is the Swords card, so we are dealing with... Um, our mental our perspective and we have mercury retrograding as well so there are going to be a lot of things coming up for you scorpio especially because this is a water retrograde um and you are water a lot of things probably from the past not necessarily physically popping up but you may start thinking about things that you either have suppressed repressed or don't necessarily like to visit because they don't make you feel as great but this is a time to work through that stuff and understand that everything happened for a reason that's what this card is coming up with and understand that after you get gain that understanding you'll be able to see that rainbow you'll be able to uh move towards that hopeful energy um and this is where you're going to gain some enlightenment so with this being a water retrograde with us being in a water lunar cycle this also has the element of cleansing attached to it so as you're working through these things working through these past traumas or, or releasing whatever needs to be released again we also are dealing with pisces wrapping up the astrological year whatever you're getting rid of understand that it needs to go divine timing clearing out space saturn is in capricorn too crumbling foundations clearing out space so you can build upon new pillars and there's hope there's good energy waiting for you on the other side of whatever it is that you need to move past or move past move past gosh what you need to <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness there is hope on the other side of that okay um and this is enlightenment so again coming in with that aha moment you'll be able to figure things out you'll be able to make your decisions but you have to work through certain things first okay scorpio all right the last card that i have coming up for you is in the position of um your soul message something extra for you to take away with you from this spread and you've got the corn card here which comes with the energy of harvest and it's 14 as well so as you're making these decisions although i did say earlier don't think too far ahead but you do have to go in with a little bit of a hint of okay you know this is the beginning of whatever it is that i'm trying to manifest right so harvest start planting seeds but you don't have to plant seeds with the the outlook of this is how i want my future to look plant these seeds with the outlook of okay this is the energy that i want my future to have and understand that all the decisions that you're making throughout this lunar cycle are bringing you to this point because you do want a bountiful crop and you will be able to come into a bountiful crop as soon as you work through these things and you turn this ten of cups this happiness what do i need what do i love what makes me makes me feel fulfilled into an upright position and that's how you make your decisions you'll get there but again i think the most important part for you during this time is that pisces energy and working through whatever pains or whatever traumas or whatever perspectives or habits that you have that you do need to release and that you need to get rid of okay 
Okay, Scorpio, that's your reading. Um, if you feel like you need a little bit more clarification or would like a personal reading, you can go on and book one with me down below. I'm also having a retrograde sale. You guys can find all that information on my Etsy shop, okay? Um, other than that, thank you guys for rocking with me for so long. You Scorpios typically tend to like my videos and watch my videos a lot <laughs> more than the other signs. <laughs> You're here like neck and neck with Cancer and Virgo, sometimes Pisces, sometimes Capricorn. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. I will see y'all next time.